everyone, it's Holly the Twister Sister back with another free balloon animal tutorial for you. Stay tuned! Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me this week for our free balloon animal tutorial. This week I'm going to show you how to make a really cute circus elephant, which can be a hat or a bracelet or you can just hold on to it. Uh, so it's pretty versatile and it uses some really cute balloons, which I love and I will show you those in just a second. So if you've never seen my old tutorial on how to make a simple balloon elephant, go and check that out. Uh, we're gonna be using pretty much the same design, just changed slightly. Uh, for this, it's actually a little bit easier doing it um, this way, but I've been doing this a lot for birthday parties and people love it and it makes a really good headband. It's a little bit big for a bracelet, but it looks awesome when people wear it. So you definitely want to add this one to your vocabulary. All right, so to do the elephant, we're just going to need one gray 260 balloon and we're going to blow this one up almost all the way. I'm just leaving about a one and a half to two inch tail there on the end and making my balloon nice and soft by letting a little bit of air out. So to start with the elephant, it's just like the other elephant video that I have. We're gonna start with the tail. We're gonna make a small round bubble. And then two back legs. It's about three or four inches for the back legs. Just like a dog head. We're gonna bring it across. We're gonna do a real short little tummy on our elephant. And then you're gonna do two front legs, same size as the back legs. There's our elephant. And he's got a really long trunk and no ears. <laughs> so go ahead and squeeze the rest of your balloon out so it fills it up all the way to the end. And then we're going to bring it into the legs and decide how long you want your trunk to be. I think mine's gonna cut off right here, so I'm just gonna twist it together. And now he's got one really big ear and we're just gonna find the midway point of this, bring it in and twist it. To make our two little elephant ears. And that's a really quick and simple one balloon elephant. And one thing I always like to do is shape the ears. So pull them apart and squeeze the sides there to make them a little bit more rounded. And then you can do whatever you want with the trunk. Some people like to leave the trunk pointing up. Some people like to curve it down. Um, I've been told several times during my balloon twisting years that it's bad luck in some cultures to have an elephant with its trunk facing down. Uh, so I kind of leave it up now. It does look cute and make him look more circusy. And now we're going to give him some eyes. So I'm just going to take my white five inch round and just blow that up and let some air out here. I'm gonna make mine about this big. We don't want our elephant to have huge bug eyes. So once you get that tied together, just twist it in half to make your two elephant eyes. And we're gonna take that, oops, sorry about that. We're gonna take his eyes underneath his trunk and bring them up top above his trunk and then switch places to lock them in place, just like that. So there is our elephant. He's done and ready to go. Um, at this point, you could draw some eyes on, so you don't have to worry about that later. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes now. So here he is, and now he just needs a ball to balance on. So we're gonna need two balloons for the rest of this. We're gonna need a 260 for the base, and then we're gonna need a ball, which is going to be a quick link that matches my dress because it's purple polka dot. Isn't it like, I mean, I forgot my colors. It's orange polka dot, so that's what we'll be using. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using the turquoise 260 and uh, just blow that up. We're gonna be doing the seven petal flower so that it can go on a headband or a bracelet. We can do anything we want with it after we have the seven petal flower made. And if you don't know how to make a seven petal flower, go check out David Brennan's awesome tutorial. It's free on YouTube and he shows you exactly how to do this, goes into detail. And uh, that's the best place to learn how to do this one app. All right, so here's my seven petal flower. I've left the rest of the balloon on it just because I like to have the stick on there while I'm working with it. And then I'm gonna take a quick link from Qualitex. These are pretty new. 
Uh, Continental Sales just came out with the polka dot quick links. That's where I got mine anyway. And I was in heaven when I heard that they're making the, the small quick links with polka dots because it just makes this design super easy. You don't have to do raisins anymore. You just blow it up. So I usually just put about two puffs of air. And if you need to let some out so that it's nice and a round shape, go ahead and do that. And then just tie it off. No raisins, no nonsense, nice and easy. And then we're going to take the nozzle of our quick link and attach it into the center of our seven petal flower. And that's kind of cute like that. It's a unicorn. <laughs> and then we're going to take our elephant and we're going to attach him to the top using the quick link tip here. So I usually just take it through the legs. So I'll, I'll grab the back legs. And if you just want to attach the back legs so that it looks like he's kind of like standing up on top of the ball, that's cool too. But I usually do the back legs and the front legs. And just attach both of those using that quick link tip so that you've got an elephant balancing on a ball. It's super cute. And then all you have to do, if you want to change this into a bracelet or a headband, is just get rid of the rest of this. Deflate that, and now you can grab a headband, or you can grab like a hair tie if you want to make it a bracelet. That's what I've been doing lately for my bracelets. And now we have an adorable little headband, which is perfect. I've been getting a lot of circus theme parties lately, and this is one of the designs I do a lot for those and just other random events as well. Everybody likes elephants, so that's a good one to learn. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a little thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you should go do that right now. If you want to see more balloon related videos just like this one, just click on the little subscribe button. Also, I'm going to be doing some more circus themed tutorials. It's going to be kind of like a series. There's going to be a ballerina, a clown, and a sea lion with a balancing a ball on top of its nose. We're going to be doing a series on Vimeo, which is where I'm going to be hosting and selling my premium balloon tutorials from now on. So you can head on over and check those out. I should have that series up soon so you can make some more circusy friends for your elephant to play with. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'd love to see any pictures you guys make. If you make any elephants this week, you can share those pictures with me on my Facebook page. The link is in the description below. Thanks again. And I hope I get to see you guys in next week's free balloon animal tutorial. Bye-bye.